And I think I enjoy that, that challenge to not overwhelm the viewer with what my impression of the thing is and really add what the architect or what the designer had in mind. My name is Filder William Strain. I'm an architecture and product photographer based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're concentrating on three rooms in a $1.3 million model home in Franklin, Tennessee. Right, for the first shot, we concentrated on the living area and kitchen. For all the lighting, I used my Einsteins, which I love for color consistency, lightweight, and just ease of use. The main goal with all the lighting was to fill in any shadows and to add a little bit of um, pop to the ambient light that was already there. So for the main key light, I just faced it towards the kitchen and dialed it up to kind of fill in a lot of the shadows. For the back two lights, uh, I put one in the hallway and one in sort of an off wine room and try to create a gradation on the walls so that we could uh, draw the viewer's eye towards those directions. For room number two, we concentrated on the dining area. With the lighting, I really wanted to just add accent light from the general direction of the window on the right hand side and fill in what was essentially a black hole that existed in the wine cooler area. Attached to my Einsteins, I used a large umbrella on the left hand side. Uh, on the, in the wine cooler area, I just bounced the light off of the wall and sort of to the side behind me, I tried to flag off some of the existing ambient light that was coming from a large window in the background. For shot number three, we concentrated on the master bathroom. I really like the tub in the master bathroom. I also like the ambient light coming through the background. So we concentrated on those two elements. I used my Einstein's as a sh with a shoot through umbrella to add a nice wrap around light to the tub and another second light on another umbrella to just add a little bit of fill to kind of fill in the shadows. When I think about how much tethering to my computer has changed my photography and the way I see things and the way I approach photography, it's like night and day. Um, when I'm compositing, it makes it so much easier to see those little elements, to add that little bit, to move that little thing over that intricate amount, uh, just to make it that much better. Little steps, and I'm able to see it on my computer, and that's the biggest difference. With everything I shoot, I always think about components. Um, I break it down into small sections throughout the whole shoot. Um, background closet, foreground sofas, uh, mid-ground cabinetry, whatever it is, I'm trying to think about how I can make that little element just a little bit better. Tether Tools allows me to just literally zoom in on that little section and look at the couch, to look at the cabinetry, to look at the closet and see if I've lit it the way that I really want to do it. It also allows me, in, uh, before I even get really started shooting, to just to be able to move things just over that hair, to be able to see whether or not I've got everything lined up the way that I want it to make that photograph a little bit better. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this from Paul C. Buff, please subscribe to their YouTube channel. If you want to see more of my work, you can find me at phiwist.com or phiwist on Instagram, F-I-W-I-S-T. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.